the idea that this show was an anchor for some people's normalcy, we took really seriously. Because for us, this show was also normalcy. While everything else was weird, everything else was crazy, everything else was out of sorts, for four hours a day, we were together talking sports. And when there were no sports, people kept saying, what are you going to talk about? What are you going to do? What's there to talk about? And I said, watch. We're going to do this. And we're going to do it. And we're not going to mail this thing in. And we're not just going to say, well, wake me up in July when sports are back and mail it in for four months. We're going to do this and do this well if we're going to do it. And I'd like to think that we did. But it means a great deal to hear these thank yous because the job for us every day, as I say, is to make you think and make you laugh. And if I can do that, then I've achieved something worthwhile to put out on the radio. And if you tuned in every single day over the course of no sports and you didn't have to think about how things were so different or how things were so dark or how things were so isolating, then I'm really happy. I'm happy to hear that because that's, that was the intended goal. And early on in pandemic, I told the guys, don't bring up that they were, we're working from home studios. Just do the show. Because why should we remind everybody of all the other stuff going on? Which is why I purposefully try to avoid talking politics. I purposefully try to avoid talking about the controversial things that happen outside of the world of sports because this is a place to me where you're going to get away from all of that. So why am I going to then shove that back in your face? Certainly it comes up. I haven't completely avoided it. When it comes up and it needs to be talked about and I've got thoughts on it, I give it. I'm not going to filter myself just because you don't want to hear it. But what I try to do is say, let's give people four hours every single morning that they can feel good about instead of piling on all the other nonsense. And I know that some of my peers don't do, that, do it that way. Some of my peers would like to make people angry and divide and to get you frustrated or lash out at somebody. But it's just not our bit. I would just rather have four hours where you felt comfortable coming and knowing that you're going to think, you're going to laugh, you're going to have a good time. Because that's what the party's supposed to be. Who wants to go to a party where you're going to fight with people? So I appreciate those sentiments very much and know that they're very, very, very much reciprocated. That this show has been hysterical. For this year, who knows how we did it. But for four months without sports, we had a lot of fun. And it was pretty cool and pretty fun to do. And that was great. And the listeners helped that a great deal by knowing that we had an audience that thought it was funny and thought it was, was cool and thought what we were doing was, was a good time. So all of the tweets, all of the calls, all of the emails, all of the everything that you guys send back to me and us goes into this crazy Bell Bisque DeVoe of a sports radio show. And it's appreciated very much. And 2020 was, was crazy and out of the box for everybody. But those that are with us, we got through this together, and I appreciate you very much.